Cheerio again, Gundam Kid Verge Collectors. We have numbers 209 and 210, both from wave number 15, which came out in 2019. So the back of the box, you have your stats, your basic stats, and then it tells you what other models are in this wave. So let's open this up. Fandom here says it was this particular robot, Vertigo, showed up in After War Gundam X, yeah, which I haven't seen. And it's basically, it reminds you of the Cubely. Uh, what's interesting though is that all the weapons are stored inside because they want it to be as equally balanced as possible so it can maneuver very well. So it's a very streamlined appearance and it has these remote controlled bits which are like the funnels you would find on other Xeonic suits. I don't know if this is a Xeonic suit though so it's, I don't think it's Xeon. I haven't seen the cartoon. Let's keep that in mind. Alright. So not many parts here as the gum from that year. Uh, yeah, stand makes sense. And actually, let me close out this window so I can show the images from the same web page. So, yeah, to me, it reminds you of the Cubely. Just, yeah, okay. You get a different light angle as well. I like to look down on my stuff so there's no weird shadows. Oh, nicely done feet, but there's no peg hole. So, oh, it comes with a foot stand. All right, well, I guess that works. So you have the option of it to look nice. And I guess they just couldn't get a peg into such a small foot. This is an interesting uh, colorway. It's like a... I don't know if this is white. I don't know if that has a hint of purple in it. This is clearly a light purple. That's a normal purple. But I can't tell if I'm, my eyes are being confused. Or if I just block that off. There's a slight hint of purple or something here in there. Okay, well, yeah, that these purples are carrying across nicely. There's a little yellow right there in the chest. I hit focus. And then here, I think this is clear plastic, but it, it's smoked. But I think I can see, well, maybe it is opaque, but it looks like it's a separate piece. So that's interesting. It would be more interesting if it was like a different color, but I guess it is black on the cartoon show. Uh, nice, whatever these would be. Maybe they're missile or ammo canisters, not sure. This skirt is very, very plain looking. Alright, there's some uh, gunmetal for the back of the knees and also the hands and probably the elbows. Nope, the elbows are this dark purple or, eh, you know what, that's not purple, I guess that's blue. Yeah, you have this dark navy blue. This looks like a separate piece, but I think it might be glued in place. All right, so well, it's interesting. I think this is a weapon right here, like a laser weapon. Yeah, all the weapons are internal, as it said. Nice thruster details, nicely painted. This is a fist, this is a fist, so there's no holding of weapons because again, uh, all the weapons are internal. Interesting venting there. The head. Well, before that, you got some nice piping going around the neck. Yeah, some detail there, but you have a nice pink metallic eye. I, I kind of feel like that's a molded metallic plastic instead of paint, but I could be wrong. Uh, all right, uh, I don't know what those are. Maybe guns? Not sure what those ribs are, but they're interesting to look at. Ah, this is one of the rare converges where the antennae are soft PVC. They're not brittle plastic. I really wish all the converges had antennae like this because then you could just drop it and not fear it breaking. I've broken some antennae before, so that's why I always mention that in all my converge videos because it's where you can't get a replacement and they're so thin they're difficult to glue back together. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Oh, no, wait, there's one extra bit. Where does this thing go? Oh, the top of the head. All right, let's see. Pretty big slot thing here. So uh, I think it might stay in there. If I could figure out where. I don't know if it's, I think it's supposed to have a gap like that. That's kind of neat. Yeah, and I don't think that's gonna fall out. Well, now see, unfortunately this is brittle. So if this fell, that would break off and it'd be really difficult to put back together. Really funky looking robot. I like it though. And then let's see how this footstand works out. 
What foot does it go on? Well, this is the front. The angled part's always the front. So this has to go here. Oh, it probably goes into the back of the foot. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't obscure too much of the front. It's kind of like the very old uh, first 20 waves, but the first 20 waves covered both feet. All right, well, they did the best they could with what they could. So the next one, I just had to look up the chassis number, uh, which is RXF91A, and that symbol means Kai. All right. So then Fandoms calls this the Silhouette Gundam Kai, and it showed up in a manga called uh, Silhouette Formula 91 in Universal Century 123. All right, uh, here's the little blurb for it. It's not much about it because it's only been in a cartoon book, not an animation. So reinforced armor and all that. And these are the only images in color on that webpage. I think Kai means modified in Japanese, but correct me if I'm wrong. So, let's get this going. Ooh, that gum is getting bad. Pretty nasty. Looks to be more parts for sure compared to the last one. So, the bottom of the feet, yeah, if I can focus, there we go, eh, okay, mediocre details, uh, but the body is very matte finish, the, it's a little glossier on the feet it seems, and same up here, it's kind of a satin finish, it's definitely not matte, but the white is definitely very dull and matte, the hands actually are kind of roll, more humanoid than blocky Gundam style, they can be rotated, and this arm here, we have a built-in weapon of some sort. I wonder if that comes off. No, nope, it doesn't. You can also hold a gun as well, which that's just a fist. Shield goes there. What's nice about this one, it actually has extra printing. RXF-91 right there on the shoulder. And then we have some extra armor, armor on the vent area here. Painted white, looks good. Some red, some gray, the blue hatch. Although the blue isn't so great here. Yeah, it's definitely not so good. The head here, well, got all blue up there. Transparent green eyes right there. They're very small. Oh, there it is. The light's getting in there nicely. Some black and red, and then nice metallic green up here. Uh, antenna, where are you? Let's see if this is a tight fit or not. Oh, be careful, because these are rigid antennae. Well, I guess that seems tight enough. So now we have a funky backpack, and uh, maybe, I don't know. It looks like handles, like this thing could be ridden. Funky vents, wings, nope, these are beam, well, they, I guess these are probably beam saber handles, but they don't come out. Can this rotate? Oh, look at this. Yeah, the parts can move. There's a thruster in the middle. All right, so a rectangular peg. So that goes in there. Eh, well, I mean, it's, if you can rotate it, but it's going to just collide into the shoulder pretty fast. Well, anyways, it can be done. The head doesn't really want to move left and right, just colliding with those blue shoulders there. The shield is cool. It's uh, you know, translucent pink, so it looks like it's energized. You know, the shield is actually small, but it's energized. And it's nice that the peg is round, so you can actually rotate this thing around to whatever position you feel is suitable. I feel if the cross is, well, unfortunately, I feel like it should be in that orientation, but obviously it's not. Oh, look at that. So now I know I have to glue this thing together. I'm a little worried though because uh 
crazy goo will craze it, I think. That's, yeah, I guess it has to go in this way. Maybe I'll use some UV glue. Hold on. All right. That's been glued in place. I guess the only last bit is this, uh, oh boy, now that thing fell out. All right, well, here's the, the rifle. It's an interesting one. I've never seen this rifle before. How it, uh, it droops down. <laughs> it's really weird. Some funky stuff in the Gundam universe. But it fits the hand nicely. So, all right. Now these will get lost so easily, you have to glue these in place. All right, so this Vertigo supposedly defeated uh, the Gundam X. This is number 207, same wave. So I thought this would be related to it, having an X in its name, but I guess not. But it does look similar with the four antennae of yellowness, the shoulders kind of sticking out like that. Eh, maybe not. And then here's a Cubely, number 168. And so let's see what those two look like. Yeah, I guess they're not really quite the same. Not remotely. <laughs> but I get that vibe from it, you know? Very, like, pointy, but flowery. You know, so... Alright, well, anyways, that's for those those comparisons. So, I think, uh... They're unique in their own ways. This is a very smooth, svelte design. And does it simply doesn't look like a Gundam. This looks like a Gundam, but uh, I like the shield being clear plastic, and it's got the printing of the chassis on it. So, and for some reason, you can move those around a little bit. But you got to glue some stuff together on that one, so keep that in mind. Okay, well, good day for Converge. We'll see you in the next one.